is Corinne Vaughn from 13th Street Winery back at the 13th Street Cottage and I hope that you are all healthy and safe at home and I would like to thank all of you for joining me on this long weekend so happy long weekend and typically on a normal long weekend we would all be at the 13th Street on property with live music Josh our chef would be barbecuing hundreds of burgers and maybe serving lots of burger blend wine but um, just because what's happening is not going to stop us from a big party and a good party. So we're going to party together via social media and have a great tasting of some burger blend wines and some burgers. So to get everybody started and settled in, uh, I have my burger ready to go. It looks amazing. Josh just uh, made this fresh. So it's, um, yeah, look, it's very tempting not to bite right now. And then if you want to, if you have your condiments, try to put a few on the side. I'll, I'll give you a little bit of updates first, what's happening at the winery, and then um, you can get this stuff ready. So what I have here is I have the recipes that I gave you online via the email was uh, some red wine, caramelized onions, uh, bacon jam, bacon jam, Josh has made, he's selling at the farmhouse and the bakery. So you can go ahead and order that online. I have some ketchup some mustard and uh, smoked cheddar cheese because all of these different condiments plays a role when tasting burger blend wines. So I'll let you get that ready to go. Oh, I also have the black peppercorn aioli that I gave you the recipe for, basically fancy mayo. So that's there for you as well. So while you're getting all that set and ready and your wine and your glasses, we, uh, I'll give you a little bit of update of what's happening at 13th Street Winery. So uh, Josh is uh, busy making burgers for this weekend and um, the bakery has a brand new butter tart out this month, rhubarb and cinnamon. It's delicious. I've tried it. I recommend it. The vineyards are doing great and hopefully with this now warm weather coming in, we're going to have some, some buds soon. So that should be great. And next week we're going to be working on Cuvée Rosé. So that's exciting with, with uh, brand new vintages coming out with that. Of course, we'll lay that down for two more years and then you'll be able to have that soon. Um, also, very exciting, in about two weeks time, get ready, Wine Club members, there is a June shipment. So I brought with me the cellar door shipment just to kind of give you a sneak peek because I know a few of you have been asking me what the wines are, so excited. Um, Wine Club's got a special place in my heart. It's one of my favorite part of the jobs of 13th Street. So for the June shipment, we have as the long-awaited Bichette Chardonnay, it's coming out. So you get one of these bottles. And um, this is probably my favorite Chardonnay in Niagara. I'm so excited about this one. I have quality checked it, made recipes and tasting notes for you. So this is gonna be really exciting. And uh, jean pierre winemaker has said that this might be his best Chardonnay yet. And he is known for Chardonnay um, as a producer in France. Then we have two bottles of the Ben Gris, which is the 100% uh, Gamay done in a white wine style, but well, rosé. And uh, everybody loved this, so we put made sure we put two of these in your shipment. Then we have a single vineyard bottle of the Witty Gamay. Such an amazing Gamay. You can even lightly chill it this summer. It's perfect for the summer months. And it goes with almost everything that you probably need to be serving in the backyard. Then we have two bottles of a back vintage of 2016 Pinot Noir. So this one has great structure, um, some good um, tannins, lots of um, warm spice and cherry jam, really delicious. It's a good treat. So six pack is coming and I've made some really amazing recipes and tasting notes and tips for you that you will arrive. Um, you probably should get that email in the next couple of weeks. And anyone that is joining us today that is not a wine club member, um, wine clubs are fun. It's free shipping, free delivery, right to your door. Lots of exciting um, things that are happening with the wine club. And you can email me at the winery if you do have any questions. Okay, so something else that I have special that I wanted to share with you. Um, what better time than now to dig into our cellars and find some special treats of what's in the, uh, in our library at 13th Street. So we have, I dug in to our library the other night. Sorry, we're gonna adjust the angle. 
So um, I found in 2006 Herbs Blend. So this was before the Witties and the Man purchased the winery. This, this is the inspiration to our burger blend. So this is a blend of basically all the wine blended together. Now we use Gamay and Pinot Noir. But in 06, and believe it or not, we opened it up and I have been, I, I did share, I left the, the bottle's been around. But this one, I wanna show you the color. And surprisingly enough, this wine is still alive. So just to, if you age it right and you wanna take a, a nice bottle of wine and lay it down on, this is, um, this is 17 years old, so I wouldn't necessarily have gone that long with it, but it's really fun that we still have it. And it's still alive, tons of acidity. 06 was a cooler year and uh, it has tons of jammy uh, stewed, stewed berries and, and fruit note, tons of pepper. It's really good actually. We were all surprised when we opened this. So this was one treat that I found in the library. Then I found our first year of making burger blend at 13th Street and uh, 2013. Same label as the current label, but it is uh, seven years old and just as delicious. This one I was really impressed with. It's super juicy, still has all its fruit characteristics and it even has lots of that pepper um, coming through. Now this one was 60% Gamay, 40% Pinot Noir and um, we do a little bit higher amount of Gamay now but look at the color difference. I don't know if you can see that on the camera but you can see how this is almost like a brick um, orange color and this is really bright cherry still. So as our winemaker says, drink, buy them now, drink them, and then buy again. Don't bother aging them. That's because he wants you to enjoy them. But for a $15 bottle of wine, five to seven years is not gonna hurt it. And you know what? It makes it kind of special when you pull it out on a long weekend and know that you spent $15 and now it's a nice treat. So I'm gonna enjoy these a little bit later. Okay. So now, why don't we start working on um, our wine tasting. So I'm gonna start with the burger white. So this one got it chilled, 70% or 75% Riesling, 25% Pinot Grigio. And this one is fermented all in stainless steel. I really like this one, it's slightly floral. Wild honey, lemon has yellow pear, yellow apple, some peach. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. Has a little bit of spice, a little bit of sweetness. It tastes a little bit of white pepper on the finish. Really well balanced, and it's perfect for that burger. So when we think about making burger blends, we think of everything that happens with your burger. So we think of the acidity from the pickle, the sweetness from the ketchup and the bacon jam, the spice from the mustard, smokiness from some cheese, and that the finish, the, the entire balance. So with this one, I wrote down some notes that I had tried when I tried some mustard and ketchup and pickles for dinner one night with the wine. And you can try, it's, it's nice to try the condiments first with the wine just to see how they react with your palate and your taste buds. So when I try the mustard, I noticed that the wine changed to tons of peach flavors. It was super juicy, like biting into a fresh peach on a hot summer day. And the wine had a little bit of a sweeter finish, but it took the spikes right out of the mustard. It was really a wonderful pairing. Who wants mustard and, and burger bun white for, for a snack? <laughs> um, the ketchup and the bacon jam, I found did the same thing because both have a nice sweetness to it, especially the bacon jam. It's smoky and sweet with like caramelized onions and all that bacon flavors to it. I found it actually, um, the wine became drier on the finish and tons of uh, citrus and pear comes out on the wine. So a little bit of a different opposite um, uh, finish to it and then you get a little bit of a smoky finish with the bacon jam and the, you get lots of sweet tomato ketchup notes with the, with the ketchup. Uh, the pickle is a fun pairing. Actually, I could I could have burger blend white and, and dill pickle any night for a snack. It was really, really a nice treat. I found that it softened the acidity in the wine and in the pickle and 
Again, lots of fruit came out and some white pepper flavors um, on the finish. So great little snack. Um, another suggestion for the burger white, just in case, I know some people are vegetarian, so you can still use um, a veggie burger with all these toppings, minus the bacon jam, it'll, it'll be really great. Uh, fish tacos or fish or chicken burgers will be really great with the burger blend white as well. And um, you know, just simple light um, salads and uh, backyard uh, shish kebab, stuff like that, but this is gonna be really good for the summer. So we'll put this one aside and go move to the next one. So now we have the burger blend rosé. I'll these over so you can see them. Here we have the burger blend rosé. So this one is a really fun one. I love this. And we finish this after we taste all these. I have a great cocktail for you. It's probably the best wine cocktail I've made yet. And uh, I will have the recipe for you can post after so you can make it at home. So this one, it, this one has Gamay, Merlot, Pinot Gris, and Pinot Noir in it. And it's super fruity. Let me pour myself a glass of this. Look at that beautiful pink color. So this one, fresh strawberry and watermelon. I get a little bit of pink peppercorn and then on the palate, it's like, it's tart. Um, I wouldn't consider it sweet at all. It'd be off dry. Um, I get a little bit of like some citrus note in there, but pomegranate and raspberry, strawberry, watermelon, a little bit of spice on the finish. Really refreshing, light and fruity. And this is gonna be a really fun summer sipper. So with this one, we're gonna try some different combinations. A fun pairing is I recommend some smoked cheddar or if you have smoked Gouda, but the smoked cheddar and the burger blend rosé is really, really, really good. It's a unique pairing. You wouldn't probably think to pair a smoked uh, rich cheese with such a light rosé, but what happens, it softens the smoke in the cheese. He actually becomes more creamy and buttery on the flavor. I get a lot more, um, <laughs> this turns into like strawberry jam actually. It's so good. So fun combination. Also the bacon jam and the rosé and or the caramelized onions brings out more of a smoky note in both of these and this turns into like raspberries and pomegranate. So really interesting, a little bit of a different combination. And um, ketchup, but this one turns the ketchup. Um, I find you really get like a sweet, almost it's like a t tomato jam note in the ketchup. And this becomes a little bit more savory. I actually get, um, it's, it becomes drier and I get a little bit more of um, savory fruit and herbaceous note from it. So interesting how it changes your palate depending on what kind of food you have. I wouldn't try the, the pickle on its own with it. It might not be the best combination. Um, the mushroom will do the same thing, but all together on the burger, it will be a nice combination. Okay, so let's do the burger bread. Oh, if anyone does want to have some suggestions for the burger rosé, uh, cheese and charcuterie in the backyard. This wine is really good with any kind of sheep's milk, buffalo milk, and goat's cheese. Um, and any kind of spicy salami, believe it or not, it actually makes us taste tons of strawberries and jammy notes. So really nice finish with this one. I have a question. How long can you suggest laying? Oh, to a breathe. You know what? Wine, um, I, so the question is, is should you let your, your burger blends breathe? Um, you can, for sure. The, it's, wine does like air. The, I would open them up and pour them in a the glass like I did and just give a, a, a good swirl but before. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about having to decant it unless of course you've aged it and you have, you have an 06 hanging around, but then um, you wouldn't want to do it for aeration. You'd be doing it more for sediment because you've aged it, but just pour a nice um, big glass and just give it a good swirl. You don't really need to aerate it. It's meant to just enjoy on the moment. So now we'll move into our burger blend bread. So this one is 65% Gamay and 35% Pinot Noir. So it's a little bit of a higher amount of Gamay now that we've um, gone to 2020. So this one, this one's a great little everyday wine. So raspberry, licorice and spice, I get tons of fruit. It smells juicy even. It's Black raspberry, cherry jam, 
You get a little bit of warm spice from the Pinot, lots of pepper from the, uh, the Agane. And again, it's, it's just, it's super juicy, easy drinking, really fun in the summer if you even wanna lightly chill it for the backyard. This is a good little everyday wine. You don't actually have to have this with, with a burger. If you wanna actually just have it with pizza, um, anything grilled on the barbecue, it is such a compliment to anything that has a little bit of smoke. It brings out a little bit more smoke in the wine and a little bit you know, complements the, uh, the food. Although this is not oat, so it's just juicy, great drinking with red wine. So with this one, we wanted to consider the sweetness of the ketchup and the bacon jam and the caramelized onions because that's going to kind of complement and bring up more of a sweet spice in the wine and really complement the condiments, of course. And then the ketchup, when I tried just the ketchup on its own, it made the wine taste like cherry jam. It was really good. So um, not that we want to have condiments for dinner, but I would recommend trying those combinations together. The bacon jam, jam made it a little bit more smoky, both the bacon jam and the wine. The smoked cheddar actually took away some of the spice in the burger blend and brought out a little bit more black pepper notes in the actual condiment rather than the wine. And this became softer acidity and really easy, easy finish on it. And of course, um, anything that you want to have, so like ribs, if you barbecue in the summer, ribs or pizza, again, our grilled sausages, but add some barbecue sauce. It does level a bit of sweetness on even on your burger or your ribs for this summer. So enjoy those. So um, now while I have you, I'm going to show you how to make a really fun cocktail. So you can go ahead and indulge in your burger. Josh here has made, he has some pimo bacon, he has some aioli on there, um, a little bit of smoked cheddar, caramelized onions, bacon jam, it's got the works. It looks like a really, really good burger. The um, aioli that I recommended has some, as black peppercorns because it's just a jazz up um, mayo. Basically, you can make it from scratch like the recipe I showed you, or you can use just mayo and infuse it with black peppercorns. I asked you to make this one because a little bit of peppercorns and spice is actually gonna complement all three of the wines. It'll bring out a little bit of white pepper in the, in the burger white, uh, pink peppercorns in the, in the uh, pink burger blend, and black pepper in the, in the red. Another question, um, are they available at the LCBO? Yes. Actually, all three will be available at the LCBO. So you can, you can purchase at the winery. We're doing curbside pickup, uh, online, and LCBO. So now, who's ready for a great cocktail? So I like to um, try to have a cocktail, especially for the long weekend, because long weekends are meant for celebrating and having fun, even though we are at home in our backyard. It's supposed to be beautiful tomorrow. So I have my cocktail shaker. I have some ice cubes after grabbing from the freezer. Rosé, I thought what well, that would be a fun um, little fusion to add to a cocktail. So basically, I took fresh local strawberries, first of the season, you cook them down, just slice them a little bit with pink peppercorns. I added about a cup of the burger rosé into there, and then um, about 20 minutes until it was completely cooked down, then I strained it so you didn't have any seeds or anything in there. So you probably I didn't bring the shot glass, so, and I don't ever measure it, even when I make at home. I don't know, I'm not gonna kid you, but this is how I would make it. So I would just probably do about one to two ounce of um, strawberry puree. So this is the pink peppercorn and strawberry puree in there. A little bit more, make a couple. And then I have strawberry gin from Dylan's, and this was in the Reveille box for Mother's Day, so I have one of these. So I would do about two ounces of strawberry gin. I'm not measuring, but it's about that. Be good. Do a little bit more. And then you want to shake this up. I have a glass here somewhere. Okay. 
class. So pour into your glass. And it's kind of like a rosé strawberry daiquiri is what the finished product will be because then we're going to top it up with about four or five ounces of burger rosé. It's long weekend, so we're going to have a nice big glass. And then I would garnish it with, oh, my garnishes, a little bit of maybe some strawberry. You could put some mint in there, be nice. And uh, I'm going to make it fancy there. Here we go. So cheers to strawberry wine bourbon margarita. So this one is um, easy to make at home. I will post the recipe after, and uh, you can use it with the red as well if you want to chill it. It's not going to make a difference. I wouldn't do it with the white, but as we do more on live seminars, we will post some more some more recipes. So um, if any of you do have any more questions, you can. Oh, I need to have one more coming. You can. You can email me directly at Corinne at 13th Street Winery, and I would love to answer them after. The next question is. Which one with the pickle? So I think that to start, I suggested the white burger blend with the pickle. It's really a good pairing. It's even just a, a great late night snack. It actually softens the acidity in both the pickle and the wine and brings out tons more like peach and pear notes in the wine. It's, it's a really interesting combination. Sometimes whenever I um, try to, make combinations and um, the way how to learn how to, to do this. Every time you have a plate of food and you have your glass of wine, try each of the condiments and everything on your plate separately with the wine and you can see how they react together. It's a good way to, to find out some unique um, pairings. You never know, you might just love to dip a dill pickle with mustard one night with a glass of white wine. Okay, one more question. Oh, um, are, you, are we open Monday? Yes, we are open Monday for porch pickup. We are only closed Sundays. Um, on holidays and long weekends, we are continued to be open on, on, on Mondays. The, the tasting bar may be closed, but the winery is still open for um, curbside pickup and deliveries and, and wine clubs. Um, the bakery is doing an amazing job with porch pickup, so you can call them directly at 905-984-8444 or you can email um, them or you can do an online order. So really easy and um, I see more questions coming in. I um, have a helper that's ready them for me so I can, I can read and have my glasses. Um, could you use vodka? Oh yes, you can definitely use, use vodka. Um, you can use any flavored vodka. You can use even um, like any kind of red berry if you had like a cherry or a raspberry or strawberry. I chose strawberries just because I had the fresh strawberries I saw on, on a uh, little market. So I did, did, did that, but you could even do a raspberry puree and um, raspberry vodka or cherry, same, same thing. As long as you have, you can even mix and match. As long as you have a red fruit. I know not everyone is, a, is likes gin, so you can use vodka, not a problem. I see some more questions coming in, so get some more questions. And uh, will you post the recipe? Yes, I will post the recipe. We'll do it as of Monday. Um, we'll try tomorrow, actually, because I know you probably want to have it. Yeah, so we will, <laughs> we, we will post tomorrow. I have it all written up. And one more coming in. I love all the questions today. It's nice to have all this feedback. How's my puppy? <laughs> um, so my puppy's amazing. I, I just had a, I adopted a uh, Bernese Mountain Dog and he's so sweet. He's, um, he's just, I, I'm in love with him. So it's nice to have this time with him right now and uh, lots of snuggles and walks of course. Um, and what is bacon jam? Okay, so bacon jam is, it's probably something that once you have it once you're you're going to be addicted so we can we can post a recipe for for bacon jam as well but basically you're going to cook down your your bacon and you can add some caramelized onions you can add some um like honey or sugar or some sweetness but you're basically making a jam a savory jam from bacon rather than a fruit 
Um, so it's, it's very good. We are selling it now at the bakery and Josh has, I can't post his recipe because it's a secret recipe, but it's, uh, it's very good. So I would definitely um, try to, to get some. And then can you review your pairings again? Sure, yeah, I can, I can do that. So just to recap the, the pairings. So we'll, we started with the, the white burger blend, um, which is Riesling and Pinot Grigio. So this one, I said that the mustard was a really great pairing. It brought out more um, peach and less spice. So more peach and pear in the wine and less spice in the mustard. And the pickle, amazing, amazing pairing. Again, both acidity in the pickle and the wine softened and just lots of fruit came out in the Burger Blend Rosé. The um, Rosé, I recommended that you try the smoked cheddar with it. It was a really fun pairing because typically you wouldn't use a smoky cheese with a rosé, but when this happens, it became less smoky of the cheese, and more creamy, and tons of strawberries. It was like a strawberry, strawberry jam in a glass, so really good. The bacon jam, ketchup, and caramelized onions, because they have sweetness, complemented the, the burger bun rosé really well, and um, I get a little more like white pepper and spice in the wine, and this became really, really sweet as well. The burger bun red, um, basically everything here is going to go with the burger bun red because it has Pinot and Gamay, um, two of the um, most popular grapes that, that we grow that are really important to us. Gamay, as I always say, is the smelly secret weapon. <laughs> I doubt it's going to pair. So the bacon jam, the caramelized onions, the ketchup really brought out the sweetness and the red berries and the warm spice in, in the burger bread. The smoked cheddar really brought out a smokiness in the burger blend and again, creamy finish to the cheese, not as smoky. Um, the pickle, it just, it's great. It's because gamay has high acidity. It actually marries really well. Same with the mustard, brings out more of a peppery spice note in the, in the wine. But all together, you know, load your burger up and have some fun with it. Um, you know, the, oh, the aioli, the black pepper corn aioli, really good with the black, um, sorry, with the uh, red burger blend because it brought out more peppery spice on the finish. So all together, again, have some fun. I load up my, my uh, burger with all these toppings and it ends up being really messy on the end. So, so why I'm not going to eat this on camera because it would be not very good. And what kind of aioli? So the recipe we will post after. I did post to begin with with an email, but we can post again. And um, basically, so you can use a traditional recipe, which what I posted with making with with using eggs and, and oil um, and then peppercorns, or you can just use mayo. So you can just uh, crush up the peppercorns, a little bit of um, salt and uh, lemon juice, and then mayo. It's basically a fancy mayo. But we will post the recipe again for you. You can actually jazz up any any mayo. I always like mayo on my burger, so you can infuse it with, uh, you know, chipotle sauce or any kind of flavored hot sauce. Um, curry powder is fun if you want to pair it with the white burger blend because it's got riesling. Um, you can do any kind of. Um, you can even infuse your bacon jam in the aioli. Make that that would be really good too. They have one more question coming. Gotta say hello to everybody. Offer still available till Sunday. Yes, so the uh, I had a question, is is the wine gonna be available? Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll have the six pack special available till Sunday. You can still order online or do porch pickup it's, um, Monday. Um, and we can, if you order it Sunday, we can still do the porch pickup for Monday because we're closed. And more tastings, so there'll be more tastings. Yes, so I am currently working on a plan to continue doing these live tastings on Instagram and posting them after, of course. We post them after on Facebook and, and YouTube. Um, it's, it's, it's always something new when we try some, something because we can't do tastings on property right now. So we can't not talk about wine and food. So we will continue to do many different seminars. We're looking at some really great guest speakers and some food demos. Um, in two weeks, Debbie Levy, who is a cheese educator, I call her a cheese expert, but she, she's so knowledgeable. She's going to be live with me um, from her kitchen to this kitchen, and we're gonna do a cheese and wine tasting. So we will post what we're gonna be tasting and some of the wines, and we're, we've chosen some classic styles of cheese, and she's gonna teach you all about the cheese, and I'll teach you all about 
what wine and how to, how to pair it. And then we'll give you some really great recipes what to do with some cheese this summer and for some uh, spice nuts to go with it and some jelly. So stay tuned for some more seminars. And one more question. Uh, can you order the 2006 blend? Oh, I, you know what? We, you can't. We only have a couple bottles and I spent a good chunk of time last night digging through our library because I knew we had one down there and uh, unfortunately we don't have any more. But you know what? Stuff like this, I always say, try to buy some uh, anything that you really love, buy a couple of and stash one away because you know what? You won't be sorry later on when you, you know, years, five years go down the road and you have some guests over and you pull out an older vintage. It just makes it even more special. I've been trying to do that more and more and not touching it. That's the, that's the uh, trick. Don't put it down there and then grab it in a month. So I think that might be all the questions, but until next time, I hope you all have a great long weekend. We definitely miss seeing all of you at the tasting bar and cheers, happy long weekend.